Being alone. Being alone. See, I, I thought I, this was a block, and I, I, I thought uh, Neil's not even going to go for this one because probably everybody comes in here and says that they're blocked by being alone, but you, but nobody has. No, not that I can think of. Okay, I am very. It, you have a very active mind. That's what's interesting about you is like the kid from the Letterman kid. Yeah. Um, the kid who was on Letterman, that, not David Letterman, the kid, the kid who was on Blocks, what a great episode. Yes. Uh, Taylor Townsend, also a great episode. Yeah. Um, oh, did she do this already? Yeah. yeah. She beats me to everything. I mean, <laughs> she's done it twice. <laughs> um, in seven episodes. <laughs> she's done, she, we added one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't know how active that kid's mind was. Right. The Letterman kid. Yeah. This, what's great about new Chrissy. Yeah. You are, you'll say Chrissy chaos. You'll say fucking anxiety Tuesday, Sunday scaries. Just, you'll say uh, my sexuality, my, uh, like it's everything is available. Right. And it's very fun to watch. But my guess is you don't, you like having a place to so, a receptor. Right. I think it all stems from this fear of being alone because even I've noticed when I'm driving, right? When I'm driving, you know, in peace in the car, pure daylight, whatever, not scared of anything, just driving, I'm constantly looking for people to call, to talk to through the drive. Like the moments of just sitting quiet, like I do it. I've been forcing myself to do it. I'm very inconsistent with it. I'm, and big goal of mine is to stay consistent with it. One of the hardest things I do is trying to sit quietly and meditate. It, it, it feels almost like an impossibility to try to do this, you know, the transcendental meditation 20 minutes twice a day. I'm like, I can't even think about doing it. I, to sit down for five minutes with my eyes closed and my thoughts, I'm like, I, 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 I have to talk to somebody. I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone. People who travel alone, I, I, it feels at this point in my life like, inconceivable to do that. The amount of loneliness I'd feel, the amount of pressure I'd feel, the amount, how much I'd miss New York. It would, it would, it would, it would be so much to the point where I'd, I would be like, I have to, it actually happened. I went to England. I was doing shows in England and I, I was by myself. My friend was supposed to come meet me. He couldn't get out there. I had tickets to the Yankees Red Sox in 2018 when they played the one and only major league baseball game they played in London, England, my favorite baseball team of all time, the Yankees, their main rival, the Red Sox. Mm -hmm. I paid all this money for these tickets. This trip over there, book shows around it, sold no tickets, just a full loss. And Taylor added shows in London. That is true. She actually played in the game. <laughs> and 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 so and so two days before the game, I still had gigs left on the schedule. The game was the focal point. I felt so alone created a scenario in my head where I thought I had appendicitis, just gas because I was eating fish and chips like it was my job, which it was. And I I flew home. How's that job pay, by the way? Great. <laughs> it, it pays in diarrhea. <laughs> um, it, it, I flew home and, and, got, and convinced myself, you're flying home because you want to see your daughter. You're flying home. This is the right move, blah, 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 blah. Get home. My, my daughter was by my mom's house go knock on the door. My mom's like, what are you doing here? I was like, I want to come home early. I miss the baby so much, blah, 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 it's blah. It's appendicitis. I have appendicitis. Yeah. And, you know, a mother's just, you know, intuition. She said, you were scared to be alone in England. Right away, it's seven o'clock in the morning. You know, and she was like, you're scared to be alone in England. Single tear. Yeah, I was face. like, <laughs> I was like, I am. I, I was like, wow, I was. She was like, man. She was like, so the, you didn't go to the game. I said, no, it's tomorrow. She was like, you're going to regret this, honey. And then, and then we went in, made me breakfast, never mentioned it really again, but it was profound where I was like, as soon as you said, like, what is your biggest blocks? Like that still is the one that I haven't, I feel like the other ones I've. How much do you eat on those tickets? Huh? Oh my God, dude. I, uh, cause I bought my ticket and for my friend, uh, I was out three grand, which, yep. you know, I, I mean, it's a lot of money now, but yep. back then, I mean, it's everything kind of insurmountable, yep. you know, like I was like, I am, I'm fucked. Yep. And, and. So I still, that being alone, I haven't, the other ones, again, you never con you know, you never fully conquer stuff. I, I think there's always, we all always learn, but that being alone one is as big a block today as it was in 2018, where the other ones are way less blocks. I don't think you're wrong to like people. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think you're wrong to want to talk. Like I have friends who call me on the phone. I don't want to talk on the phone really, but like, it's, I don't mind it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. clearly, they like talking on the phone. They like yeah. people. They like receptive. It's comics. They'll call me, whatever. Yeah. Like, 
How does it hurt you, though, other than the Yankee tickets? <laughs> I think ultimately it comes down to, you know, when I'm alone, then I think I have to still get faced with it. Like all the noise calms down. It's like you I still get faced with all these uh, all this work I still have to do and all these questions that I you know said when we started the show that I wanted to have answered so I could be the best version of myself for my daughter. I think I have to get faced with all these questions that I still haven't answered and I'm still not even, I believe, close to the best version of myself. And what what are my kids going to think of this imperfect failure of a dad? But also this idea that we're bad yeah, and we need to work on ourselves yeah. is catholic yep original sin can't yep. get rid of it yep what i've come to recently that may help you is like i'm not gonna die and be like did it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know what i mean like yeah. it's never gonna be solved yeah so just like maybe arc toward better right today i woke up i looked into my house and half of my furniture's gone because she's moving out today wow and there was a feeling of sadness, a real deep sadness. Yeah. It, tell me tell me about it. Well, you know, I was living with Kalila for 10 years. And um, we've been broken up for about six, seven months. Yep. And I don't know. This is the first time where I'm just kind of like, oh, this is real. Yeah. I'm alone. You know, and... You know, I you know I, I had a loud house. Like I would wake up and there would be fa- people in the living room. Yeah, laughter, joy, and all this stuff. And um, I don't know, man. You don't like being alone too much. Well, I haven't done it in so long that yeah. like I'm uh, just sort of readjusting to it all. You know, I don't I know if this is real or not, but I honestly don't believe that I'll ever be in another thing again. Do you ever hear Larry David used to drive when he was a cab driver? No. In New York? It's like two years ago. No, it was 40 years ago. When he driving in New York, and he's like, when I would when I would drop someone off, I would think, I'm never going to get another fare. <laughs> Which is Re- like, really? That's yeah, so crazy. He would think, like, that, I'm, no think, one's ever going to hail me again. That's our thinking. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to, though. That's the thing. I look at certain guys, like Pauly, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And Spade, maybe. Mm-hmm. And I go, oh, that, you know what I mean? That could be a lifestyle that I could get used to. To some people, it's a cautionary tale, honestly. It is like, a cautionary tale, yeah, yeah, yeah. To some people, but I'm with you in that there are times where I go, I think about how I feel by myself, and I think about how I feel with somebody. And sometimes I think that being with somebody is m- significantly more stressful to me than being by myself. Mm. Because the expectations of my when I'm by myself are n- nil; they don't exist, right? Yeah. And the expectations when you're with somebody is like you have to behave a certain way, and it's hard, and it can be gratifying. I refuse to compromise. No more. Oh, we ate. You know, we ate steak last night. Let's go to this vegan place. I, before it's like, okay, I'll eat that. Not anymore. Have fun. I'm going to Morton's again. Yep. That's where I'm at now. Yep. You know what I mean? Oh, um, hey, we saw that scary movie last night. Let's watch this fucking romantic. No, fuck yourself. I'm watching the scary movie again. I'm, yep. not, I'm, no, I'm not doing any of it. Go yes. to my friend's wedding. Go fuck yourself. I'm not going. Brunch. I'll do that. Okay. I'll do brunch. Um, <laughs> uh, I no, I'm with party. you. It, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it can be, ve- and I don't know if it's a personality type or if most people, their fear of loneliness is greater than their reluctance to compromise. I because I, I know, think yeah. yeah I know I like know, that's I don't know the, I don't know I don't know you're right it'll change you're right you're right I don't know this is the first day so I don't know it might change who knows I might meet you know the one right who knows you know what I mean but this time I'm gonna go probably go white hmm. that's my next venture. We were talking earlier about how you you like you feel like you've had to change, like getting married and you your wife wants changes or whatever. Yeah. What were the changes? Uh, you know, I got to grow up a little. Like, you know, I, I was always like a wedding. That's what are we doing? That's dumb. Yeah. She's like, I want one. I was like, all right, I'll do it. So she's like, it's important to me. It doesn't matter about you right now. And I was like, all right. So there's stuff like that where you like, and now a person's relying on you. And what really did it was she had my back 
on a thing once and it I'd never had someone really have my back and I was like, all right, I'm marrying her. That's really what what did it. Never had a a woman like fight for me. Yeah. And uh or even a friend really coming to think about it. But uh so that was huge. So I was like, all right, she'll she's loyal, she'll stick with me forever. This is well, big. it's almost nice to have that moment where like, oh, good. Yeah. Before they're even on the clock, you're like, okay, this person. Exactly. Will defend me. Because that's a big one for me, too. It's like, I want. Def- I think when I think about um, growing up, I always think about like being like sent to my room, some sort of incident. I'm crying, sent to my room. And I'm just sitting there like, where the fuck is everybody? Yeah. Like, where the fuck is everybody? And I wonder if you, you must have had that. Totally. You felt, I felt alone my whole life. And then someone having your back, you're like, oh, this is a partner. Oh, really? Yeah. I, oh, Was that in your vows? I did. I told her I didn't want to do vows, but uh, she wanted them. So we did them privately. And that was in there. Oh, great. Yeah. Great, great, great. Because again, that's the cringe. I can't say vows in front of other comedians. It's too hard. Yeah, F- fantastic. <laughs> Have you been in any real relationships with women? Yeah. <laughs> and how'd it go? <laughs> um, like it's bad. <laughs> it goes good for a while. Yeah, that's that's what it, that's what happens. Yeah, it goes good for like the first few months, and you can't keep it up. I can't keep it up. <laughs> and you know that. See, that's what cause none of us can. We, we the here's how relationships work. Women pretend to be sexual and men pretend to be thoughtful. And we can both do it for like three or four months. And then our it, it goes to the what we're really like. And then we start getting mad at each other. Yeah. Why? Is that just human nature? Yeah. Because we both want a thing. I, I believe men just want like sex and a connection and women want women want a connection and they'll take sex like whereas we have to like it's a problem for us we don't get it um so they we both present in a certain way and then we come to them with like i'll give you a connection and then they go like i'll give you sex and then we and that's kind of what happens and we and it's also like new structures yeah i don't know i just after a few months i guess i don't want I don't long for a connection much anymore. <laughs> After a few months, I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes you just want to go back to being alone. That's the pro. That's maybe the issue with with uh, f- people like us is uh, it's pretty pretty good, pretty fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. We got good. We got good. We got a full cable package up here. We can entertain ourselves. Yeah. Like, I was an only child for a long time. I've never lived with any of my siblings up until now. So I'm, like, pretty good at just me and my TV. If I didn't have a TV, I'd lose it. That's the connection. You're. I mean, that's yeah. the, yeah. Like, that's a great connection. I've lived with a girl, my son's mom. And I remember, like, sharing the bed was the first, like, whoa. Like, <laughs> this is like, end game was you got to find somebody to share a bed with. <laughs> I had my own bed my whole life. Now yeah. I have to share one. That feels like a demotion. Yeah, sure does. Now I also have to share control of the remote. Yep. And you got to wait for the bathroom. It's like prison. Yeah. What the fuck are we doing? Also, she doesn't wait when I'm until I'm done using the bathroom. Like, this, it, you, you get less privacy. You get less TV time. And I know to a lot of women, this just sounds like immature. They're like, that's your big problem with the TV. But like, yeah, it was my best friend growing up. TV. Yeah. Yes. I also like hate most of their TV shows. Yeah, that's a problem. The the we don't men and women don't have a ton of shared interests. We don't. It's like we pretend, but I can do like a few date nights, you know. And maybe that's just me not being ready for marriage or whatever. But I don't know if I will be mar- ready for marriage just because like I'm not going to be able to share a TV every night for the rest of my life. Yeah. And then it's also, would you be in a relationship? Would you be one of those dudes who like has his own wing of the house? You know what I mean? You, like you, you uh, need that. Yeah. You need that. I yeah. feel like, and it's only fair if a woman gets that too. Yeah. I mean, I, a, a lot of women now are saying like, I don't even want to live with a guy. That'd like, be fine. Which is great. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're, it's a smart way to approach it. Cause it's not, 
doesn't mean I love you less, you know? It's like, this isn't going to help. Just constant yeah. other person in your face. It's nice. not going to make you like, oh, I fucking adore it. It's, yeah. it. And maybe that comes from like my own issues too. Like just like things never being stable at home. Yeah. Like things were always changing. People were in and out the house. But one like unit, you know, being like a perfect couple and living together from like this point until forever just seems like a crazy goal to me look if it weren't for children there'd be no no i don't even think women would want to do it yeah i think it's just about safety it's yeah. about creating a stable environment for a kid now on the other hand unstable environment exhibit exhibit a nothing but it's tv's his best friend pretty yeah, pretty good cowabunga on netflix <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. I'm, a little, I'm not really used to the green screen.